Well, hi, hi there, folks. Uh, this is just a quick update. Good to see you. Um, I am full on in coronavirus pandemic isolation trim, which is um, no haircut for the last six months. Um, I have to shave every so often. This is the um, Triumph Daytona 675. It's been giving me a few problems. I've been working on it kind of nonstop for the last few days now. And I think I have tracked it down to a bad throttle position sensor. What it does is you're cruising along, you're cruising along, then you get the throttle twisted, and you're going, you're going, you're going, and then it starts hiccuping. And um, especially out of slow corners, it likes to die on you. And um, it's been a real nightmare trying to track down the problem. I'm pretty darn sure that it's a throttle position sensor. But I have a new battery that's coming, and with that new battery, I'll be able to test to make sure that um, it's not just that there's a charging or an electrical problem that the sensor has got because it doesn't have enough voltage because the battery is only um, hanging out around 12, 12 12.1 volts. And so I think I need around 12.5, and some of the electronics are kind of sensitive. Moving on, so what we did is we, um, I got this 3.2 liter um, engine. This is for the 94 Trooper and it is uh, going to go in very soon, as soon as I am done with the 73 Chevy. And um, the 73 Chevy, I got the engine in, it works great, and um, the only problem is the back rear brake uh, caliper, um, cylinder is completely seized up and doesn't work, and so I've, I've actually gutted it out there, and I just got the new parts. But I wanted to show everybody the uh, the new engine. If I can get this open with one hand. Sorry about that. And uh, it's a new Chevy 350 engine. Um, still have a couple little things to take care of. Some some routing for the electrical lines and for the hoses. Um, other than that, and I got a track down an electrical problem. My battery completely died on me. And I don't know why. So I've got to track that down, and um, other than that, this thing starts up, it runs great, and I'll do a video of the uh, of, of what's going on with that. Well, that quick update on what's happening here. Um, this is definitely going to be a big project, but what I've decided to do is this was a known good running engine, and I am going to just drop it in to the 94 Trooper pretty much as is. Um, I'm going to check the timing belt and just make sure that it's okay. But other than that, um, I'm not really going to get into the engine a whole lot. I'm just going to treat it like a junkyard build and, and um, just put it in and not worry about it. My other thought was to regasket it or to rebuild it. And both of those could be um, long and lengthy. And um, uh, I, I, I know that this thing dribbles oil a little bit, but no big deal. All right, folks. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel, and then you'll get an update um, whenever I've got a new update, whenever I have a new video come out. All right, thanks. Bye.